Manufacturing will transform more in the next 10 years than it has in the past 50. You've heard that before, right? But quite honestly, in industrial manufacturing, change is ever present. It's how you deal with that change that will set you apart from the competition. You can start by connecting your manufacturing systems and your business systems. At Rockwell Automation, we call this the connected enterprise. The connected enterprise is based on three pillars. Intelligent assets, a secure network infrastructure, and intelligent, actionable data. What that means is quite simple. Come on, let me show you. Gunther, what technology does a company have to implement in order to realize the connected enterprise? Well, in order to get started with connected enterprise, you need to implement a controller that is basically the data center um, that will collect all the data out of your machinery. Um, and in order to do that, it's connected over Ethernet IP to the various devices on the machine. So, for example, this drive not only has torque and performance, but it also has uh, temperatures, how often has it been used, used, um, is it working well, and so on. And that's important uh, to present to the various users in the connected enterprise. What role does safety play in all of this? Well, safety, although many people think of it as being uh, not helping you in producing and protecting people only, it is actually a key uh, application for improved performance. And performance is what you're looking for in a connected enterprise to improve that on your machinery. Ashkan, can you explain to me what happens after data has been collected? After it's collected, you have to deliver this data to our infrastructure. The easiest way to do that is using Ethernet. We're from Rockwell, we use standard ARM modified Ethernet to provide data to the whole network infrastructure. The challenge is we have to secure that. We do that with managed switches and the technology embedded in these switches. So Kai, now information is collected and delivered. What happens next? It's about um, getting information in real time and with KPIs, uh, people in the company can make uh, real decisions and they can react quick and fast and this saves time and money in the end. What's different now? It's different that now um, machines are information enabled and existing islands growing over years are now connected into one connected enterprise and this will give information um, about performance management or for energy management, the quality management. So there is a lot of room for improvement uh, in existing companies today. Why should I be interested in the connected enterprise? Oh, the connected enterprise is uh, our future vision for our customers, um, how they can move into a more uh, performant um, production, that, uh, how they can unveil areas um, of improvement. So for us, it's the vision for our customers. Parts. we have heard about the collection and transformation of data. What can companies do to realize the connected enterprise? Well, in fact, connecting and integrating information-enabled devices has been since several years key for Oracle Automation. About 16 years ago, Rockwell Automation introduced Contralogix, the first information-enabled device. And it has been, instead of a merely a repository of analog and digital data, Logix controllers now publish meaningful and contextualized information. And over the past years, we have basically integrated all our automation devices and made them become information-enabled devices. We have the kinetics motion control, the PowerFlex drives, Power uh, Panel View Plus uh, operator interfaces, and in parallel, in parallel, we also ensured that the um, the integration of these devices was established. Integration thanks to an Ethernet IP network, standard on modified Ethernet, and also thanks to the um, Stratix switches, Stratix switches that ensure the secure and a powerful integration. And in addition, we also try to, in a gradual way, integrate our design softwares into one single development environment, Studio 5000. And this allows now integrators and machine builders to build 
and configure and design their integrated architecture. Okay. So basically you're saying that the connected enterprise is the natural evolution of integrated architecture. Absolutely. Uh, integrated architecture is the foundation to realize the connected enterprise. Hello Warren. I'd like to find out from you, what is the value of the connected enterprise for our customers? Okay, so um, we believe at Rockwell Automation that uh, the Connect Enterprise can offer real value, um, particularly to plants and enterprises. So, plants and enterprises really can benefit uh, through faster time to market, um, increasing design and commissioning times. Also, it can help with lowering total cost of ownership, um, helping manage life cycle, and also helping manage energy, and also looking at easier migration opportunities when looking to modernize the plant. It does also help in uh, risk management and also utilization of those assets in the plant. What is the specific value of the connected enterprise for machine and equipment builders? Okay, so machine and equipment builders, there's two or three things really that uh, the connected enterprise does offer them. You know, there's uh, delivering equipment that connects easily into their customers' plants and there's also managing the, the intellectual property that they hold in that machine. That can be uh, very much uh, managed and controlled using the Connect Enterprise principles that we offer. It really does help manage the, uh, the critical production assets from a remote uh, management solution as well. There's another partner group of Rockwell Automation, the system integrators. What's the value for them? So, for system integrators, I think one of the key points that the Connect Enterprise can offer is a common network infrastructure to help design and build those um, pieces of equipment or those lines into plants using a common, common network infrastructure, but also in that infrastructure helping turning the data that they are accumulating in those operations into real information to make decisions. It can also help in uh, common design environments, so standardization of the development of those systems and deployment of those systems, and also finally really helping build those systems for their customers on, on secure standards.